I want to ask you about the Avodat HaShabbat. Is it Avodat HaShabbat? Avodat HaShabbat. Avodat HaShabbat. Tell me about it. Dave Potterman and I knew each other from the Jewish Music Forum, and if you didn't get commissioned by David Potterman, sooner or later, you didn't count. Potterman did not commission me right away. He said, I want you to write one piece for me. And he said, write for me a Vishomo. And I wrote in the Vishomo, and I must say, in all honesty, I'm very proud of the piece. But sugar and honey and soft and melodious, and anything I could invent to make that piece pleasant, I did there, that Vishomo. And uh, he liked it very much. And he performed it at the concert. After the Vishomo, he immediately commissioned me to write the whole service. I got a whole $250 for it. At that time, of course, I was organist at Temple Emanuel, and uh, it helped me a great deal, because in spite of the competition and animosity between the conservative and the reform, they had, had a, lot of, a lot of respect for Parliament's work and for Parliament's things, and Richard Korn went there to conduct. And it was a wonderful evening. It was a very wonderful evening. And Parliament, with an already declining voice, but with so much conviction and so much style and so much nobility in saying it, that it left the mark there. Yeah. First performance was at Park Avenue Synagogue. Yes. Now, you've had other performances. Tell me you had a perf you then subsequently orchestrated it. The opportunity came with uh, Rabbi Klausner. Abraham Klausner of Temple Emanuel. His cantor was Gerald Siena, who sings now the city center of her. And uh, he had suggested to Rabbi Klausner that they should have a Shabbat, but he would need an octet for it. They usually have a quartet, because I have sometimes two sopranos. And Klausner was very much in doubt whether he could have the money to have an octet. And he said, well, let me see what I can do. I have a friend I want to show the score. And uh, what I didn't know that the friend was Leonard Bernstein. And he showed the score to Leonard Bernstein, and he, Leonard Bernstein wrote a letter to him that he has seen the Belinsky score, and he found it very touching, very moving. He said, if you don't do it, I will. With that letter, Klausner went to 838 Fifth Avenue and got himself $25,000. And I orchestrated it. And at that night, when it was done with Barkin, we, we had the Jeremiah Symphony of Leonard Bernstein and my Avodat Shabbat. Where was this? At Lincoln Center. What year was that? 1964, exactly. Do you make use of any traditional m musical material? I, I make use of two elements. One was that I tried to get a harmonic structure which does justice to the modal character of the melody. <coughs> uh, 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 the, the opening Matobo is in, definitely in the uh, I don't know, ma Malach Maut, you understand? And then the, the open fourth, the, 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 the refusal of using just simple triads as tonic ad dominant, sub dominant, but go into the model scheme. That comes both, both in, on the one side, Yasso, and on the other, Isidore Fried also uh, is shown. Isidore Fried more conventionally than I did it, because Isidore Fried did try to fit the model scheme into a perfectly consonant motion. That makes his music very delightful, but also very blunt at the same time, you know, very digestible. Uh, I went one step further and said, this model scheme has built-in dissonances, and these built-in dissonances actually uh, uh, give that model character uh, uh, something of a, a stronger masculinity. And that is an Abba Chabot there. The traditional melody which I used is in the Lajado di, which is a Portuguese melody. And uh, if I were to do it today again, I would, would most probably treat it differently. I would treat it differently.